Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll take a look at the merge statement. This is sometimes called an upsert. We create a source table using the All Objects view, and we use the object ID as the primary key. We create the destination table in a similar manner, but notice we've limited the rows to 35,000. Next we gather the stats for the tables. From 12C onward, this isn't necessary anymore because Oracle gathers the stats during the create table as select operation. By querying the user tables view, we can see the destination table has a little less than half the rows of the source table. Here we can see a basic merge operation. The into clause identifies the destination table. The using clause identifies the source table. A match is determined by the contents of the on clause. For each row processed, if a match is found, the matched clause is run and the row is updated. If no match is found, the not matched clause is run and the row missing from the destination table is inserted. In this example, all the rows from the source table were merged into the destination table. After each merge, I'm rolling back because I want the data to be back in its original form for the next test. Instead of a reference to a table or view, the using clause can also use a query. This gives you a lot of flexibility when sourcing the data for the merge. The matched and not matched clauses can be made conditional by the addition of a WHERE clause. For a row to be updated, it has to both meet the matched criteria and the WHERE clause criteria. For a row to be inserted, it has to meet the not matched criteria and the WHERE clause criteria. Because of the WHERE clauses, we can see not all rows from the source table have been merged into the destination table. If we remove the matched clause, the merge can be used to insert only the missing rows. Without a not matched clause, only existing rows will get updated. The matched clause can have an optional delete clause. To see this in operation, let's first check how many rows are in the destination table. We can see the merge has updated all of the rows in the destination table. But in addition to the update, we've also deleted any matched rows that conform to the delete clause. If we check the number of rows in the destination table, we can see we have less than we started with. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Is this you to say dot com. Yes. Come on. What? Say dot com. Dot com. Can you say it three times with a pause between? No. <laughs> Go on. Dot One more. Out. Internet of uh, things. Uh, Internet of things. IoT. Yeah. What are you doing? It's is just. This <laughs> what is this? Come on, just say dot com. Dot com, dot com, dot com. I love you, thank you.